Have you ever played Stardew Valley, Terraria, Forger, or Minecraft? If so, then you will love this game. This brand new indie game, Apico, lets you save the bees for once and for all. Brought to you by Whitehall Games, this relaxing quest to save the bees will have you playing till 3 a.m. whether you like it or not. Buy it on Steam or not, I don't care, it's your money. Anyways, I try not to ask this, but I really am trying to hit 30k subs by the end of the year, so your support is greatly appreciated. If you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and like down below. 100 likes and I'll release episode 2 of Apico. And without further ado, let's hop straight in. Welcome to Apico, everyone. Basically, the entire idea of this game is we want to help save the bees. Man, you really- this is like Terraria design of characters. I want to be blue. Sure. <laughs> Wait, can I just make everyone- everything the exact same color? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, we're kind of just a walking blueberry with shoes. My name is just Crump. So let's go ahead and set sail, create the world, and get started. Ho ho, we made it, just Crump. And just as yo were getting your sea legs, oh ho, here we are, Port Apico. And what a lovely day it is. I like that they include the pronouns, that's really cute. It was a jolly good to have you aboard me again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember your way around the place? Ah, no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. Anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down the lift. And she's a buzzin' ever since you let her. Luck of the hive mother be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Ho ho, bye! Nanabelia. Okay. Oh, just crump, it's wonderful to see you. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How is the boat over? Do you feel sick or sorry? There's, there's me getting carried away. Oh, it's just good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. She's she's an old lady, that's all I really need to know. All right, time to go ahead and collect some stuff. I don't really know anything about this game, so let's go ahead and start straight into it. All right, we got a bee. We got a free bee. So let's go ahead and start working on these, get these checked off. I, I kind of just want to deforest their entire place. I feel like that would be pretty funny. Let's just like take all of their resources. Why not? All right, so we've got some resources. We can go ahead and claim this. And we also got a crafting table. Let's go ahead and place this down. I guess we'll do it over here in a little bit of an open space. Saw bench. That sounds important. Let's go ahead and make that. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, it looks like we can go ahead and... Okay, so if you put logs in here, you can go ahead and get planks out of it. I actually really like how this crafting mechanism works. I'm probably gonna get bored of this crafting mechanism pretty quickly, but at least it's different. I take the instant crafting for granted a lot of the times, and I think the fact that it's just something different will help a lot. Okay, so we've got plenty of wood. Okay, from there we can get sticks. So let's go ahead and get a bunch of those going, because I'm sure we're gonna need those for tools and stuff. Okay, I think 40 should be plenty. I don't think we'll need much more than that quite yet. And now we need to make Make some walls and some flooring we're gonna be able to make our own house now although to do that first though I think it's probably important that we actually decide where we want to live before doing that at all so let's go ahead and scout out a little bit of an area I do kind of like the way this area up here looks it's pretty open so we're gonna chop down a bunch of trees there it goes okay I think this will be enough of an area to go ahead and start working with, so actually make a base real quick. Looks like the houses in this game are very simple, which is, is nice because it means we don't have to do too much work, but it also does mean that there's not too much to work with when it comes to designing a house. I guess our whole we're just going to make our whole walls red. Why not? I just want to go ahead and start clicking off a lot of these. Okay, so sitting on the bench really just makes time accelerate. We're going to go ahead and let it push over to day two, just because why not? Maybe that'll give us a quest or something. Yo, what are you? What are you buying? Oh! Well, I really have no money, so... So it doesn't look like we're gonna be buying anything right now, but it is cool that they've got merchants. It is really nice how you can just kind of keep everything down here in the bottom of this workbench or this saw bench and not have to worry about keeping it in a separate chest. You can just keep everything right where you're going to use it. Let's go ahead and craft up some better tools because I'm tired of using these stone ones. Boop, boop. Oh, you need 30 stone for each one. I'm glad I made that pickaxe first then because we can go ahead and mine. Oh! 
What just happened? What did we find? So we found a rocky bee. Very interesting. So we have new a new bee now that we can go ahead and crossbreed with at some point. Um, let's go ahead and start mining a bunch of stone because I would like to finish off our set of stone tools right before we actually start working on anything more. I wonder if you can automate stuff with the bees. I, I jumped into this game pretty quickly without actually looking much into it because I wanted to be surprised by everything in the game. So I don't know really everything there is to, to find and do in this game. I just kind of want to learn it all as I go. So I hope that with the different kind of bees, it's almost like the Minecraft bees mods from Feed the Beast and all of that, where you can make them actually just do your work for you. That would be really cool if that's how this works. Well, we've got our full set of tools now. So what are these doing? Oh, so we just made a queen bee by combining them. The lifespan of it is going to decrease. And let's see what it gives us. It looks like it's probably going to give us some honeycomb. Yep, that's exactly what it gives us. It gave us one honeycomb, um, so it looks like we're going to need to set up a lot of those. This looks like shallow water that we can tread into, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up this uh, beehive as well, combining some bees over here and get them working on that as well. <laughs> I really do just blend into the water. Thank God for that white outline. Let's go ahead and set up a bunch of beehives, as many as we can right now because I really want to start getting as much honeycomb producing as fast as possible. Blessed bee. What does that mean? Okay, I don't know what any of that means, but I think I'm willing to bet if we combine it with the common bee, maybe it'll be a blessed queen. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's cut down a bunch of these trees. One just to get some more wood, but also I really want to start clearing out this area so we've got a lot more place to work with. Grab all of these. It looks like you can't really open the, the beehives until you've actually placed them down yourself, which is a little weird, but it's not a big deal. All right, I think the next thing we want to go ahead and start doing is working on this this apiary because I believe the apiary is where you really start to breed bees and really get into the heart of the game mining all of them and getting them to give you the resources you need so let's get a bunch of this wood that we're gonna need you know considering this is a bee game we're doing a lot of deforestation right off the bat bees it's not like bees live in the forest or anything we've already got so much honeycomb we okay and then we are also going to put down some of these forest ones and go ahead and throw some forest bees in there and let's actually do the first attempt at a crossbreed and see what happens when we combine a common bee and a water bee and verge common bee i don't know what that does i wonder if you combine two blessed bees if you get anything cool so i'm gonna go take these two over to the apiary okay so the blessed if you combine two of them you get a blessed queen okay while all of this is working let's go ahead and start looking into some of the other stuff we can do let's go ahead and claim this beekeeping 101 pip my hive what do we get we get an apiary and we need some wooden frame wooden frame oh that's pretty simple let's craft up a bunch of these because i'm sure we're going to start needing them as well okay so we can make bee boxes which looks pretty important to get all right large crate bees okay and we got the bee box okay let's go ahead and place this down because i'm already running out of space for bees it separates them based on their stats i really don't know what these stats mean yet oh they don't produce during the night so that's why you want to sleep all right it's daytime now so it looks like the bees are starting to squirm around and do their jobs again so time to get back to it you know we haven't really taken a look around the town so let's go talk to some of these people and see what they have to say okay so she's just got building resources i don't really feel any reason to buy from her quite yet what do you have oh i can buy bees straight from you how do i sell can i just sell by by dropping it oh okay can i also just like take your apiary oh i can well thank you for the apiary man i'm gonna head back up here place down our very legally acquired apiary now that we're further into the days, most of what we're doing is very tedious work, which is definitely relaxing and fun in the game, but it doesn't make for the greatest YouTube content. So I'm gonna throw in some more post commentary to keep you guys up to date on what's happening in a more concise manner. Unfortunately, I have a habit of drinking copious amounts of stupid juice prior to recording, and it always makes my thoughts scattered and hard to follow. Okay, so we've got an uncapping bench now, and we'll just throw all of these 
in there. So these are uncapped now, but what does that mean? Now we can extract the honey, so we need an extractor. We've got the extractor, let's go, just what we needed, and start throwing them in there. Okay, and I want this one open as well. I, I really do appreciate how easy it is to like have multiple of these tabs open at the same time. We have all of that moving and grooving now, so let's go ahead and start actually exploring this island and seeing if we can find anything interesting. We need more of these verge bees one. We also need more of these forest bees ones, so we'll go ahead and collect this as well. Okay, our inventory is already very full. I want to check out this house real quick just to see what's going on in here. Just some resources. Okay, we are going to place down one more of these. Oh, baby. We found an undiscovered bee. Is this the uncommon? Learn more. What is this? This is the uncommon bee. Okay, so we did find the one that we wanted to find specifically. So we're going to take everything from this one and also just grab the hive. Hive Mother Altar. Forest Idol. Can be used to pray to the Hive Mother for clear skies. Interesting. Can I just take this? We kind of maxed out our inventory just a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and head back. We've collected up a bunch of new blessed bees, found the uncommon bees that we have been told were hidden, and so we can go ahead and start advancing a little bit more with the kind of bees that we have. Okay, let's go ahead and put down this altar as well. It looks like we just sacrificed some bees. Oh, the blessed bees are what you use for messengers. Okay, so these actually are just bees. These forest bees in here, because none of these have real stats that I'm too interested in. Just gets rid of it automatically. The hive mother knows all, I suppose. So we need to go ahead and get this uncommon beehive down. And I want to go ahead and get a microscope, because we now have two different kinds of bees that say we need a microscope to look at them. I think that's the next thing we should really be looking to get. So the rock bees seem to work during either the night or the rain. After plenty of exploring and fancy new advancements, I head back to my house to start incorporating these new things into the base. So all four of these have tree taps on them, so we'll be able to get some resin from them coming up here in a little bit. You can even make an infuser to start treating your wood with that resin. Okay, so I do need treated wood. Yeah, so I'm not getting the kind of bees I actually want from down here. Okay, okay, we got the verdant bee. Let's go never mind i lied to you we got the new bee let's go i'm gonna try and get another verdant bee before we actually start breeding the verdant bees because i don't want to risk um not getting any verdant bee offspring oh okay so we need to take some of this and we need to fill it up we need to put it in here with some wood and that will infuse it into um, the treated wood that we're gonna need. All right, so we can get this saw bench going now. Oh, so you crank it and then you can just leave them in there. Oh, we got another verdant, let's go. All right, so we just uh, ended up buying a squeezer because this is gonna be a much easier way of us getting resin instead of having to put a tree tap on. We still very much need to get a microscope, and the easiest way to do that is we're gonna come over to this guy down here in the bottom right, and we're going to buy one from him. Um, also, we just got a new bee. What is this? Okay, it's green. Learn more, what are you? It's a vibrant bee. Now that I'm starting to get closer and closer to automation, I think that it's time to start focusing on creating a sustainable form of income. The answer to that, Apicola. Apicola is a sweet and refreshing drink made from straight from a bee's tit and God's tears. Fermenting rainwater and honey will give you the staple drink of the Apico Archipelago. One problem though, I have no idea how to do that. The quest log tells you a little bit about what you're supposed to use, although for actually getting the machines to make the Apicola, I'm a little lost. All right, so I have finally figured out how we are going to get this Apicola going, and we are going to need a bottler that currently can only be bought from skipper so we have this bottler now we've finished the 
quest and we've gotten five bottles. Let's go set up this bottler so we can finally get some Apicola going. I think that's going to be a great way to start making some significant money. Oh my god, one sells for 15. We need to figure out how to get bottles really consistently because that is going to be a great way to start making some actual money in this world. Okay, so it looks like the easiest way to get bottles right now and possibly the only way to get bottles is through buying them from Skipper. So I'm just going to stock up on a bunch of them because this is going to be a super easy way for us to make money. I've already bought some. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna sell a ton of this honeycomb that I have because I don't know what I've done, but I've I've made a very efficient honeycomb collection. I've got stacks on stacks of that there. And now we buy the microscope. Okay, so we've looked at all of those now too. Now that we have a consistent supply of money through our monopoly over the beverage market, it's time to invest in a boat and explore the rest of the map. What better way to finish off the episode than by finding a few new species of bees? Oh, I found a fox! Oh, he gives you, like, records! Or a dog. I can't tell if he's a dog or a fox. Either way, he's adorable. He sells- he sells records, so he's- he's a pretty- He's a G, dude. All right, everyone. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode now. We have collected a bunch of new kinds of bees. We're up to about 12 or 13 species totally found. We are working over here on getting the combination of a vibrant and a verdant bee, which should be the regal bee, but um, I've been struggling with this for a while. These are really hard to combine. When I'm looking at them, it seems like they're a... Um, when looking at them, it looks like it's, uh, you know, it's a tier three, so I guess that means they're important. Um, so we are, this is just one of those that we're working towards right now. Other than that, we've done a ton. We're going to have to move all of this stuff down here to kind of a more tropical area, probably down here. This world is really starting to come along. I'm loving how it's looking. If you guys do want to see more of this, please, please, please let me know, and I will be happy to make another one of these episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.